Hare Krishna, dear devotees, please accept our humble obeisances. All going to Srila Prabhupada. Hare Krishna, Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All going to Srila Prabhupada, all glories to you. So today uh, we have His Holiness Chandramoli Swami Maharaj with us. And the uh, topic for today's class is Chaitanya Charitra Amrit Adi Leela 2.43 through 46. So everyone, I'm sure, in very well knows Maharaj. Maharaj is a disciple of Iskon founder Acharya. His divine grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Srila Prabhupada, and an initiating spiritual master in the Iskon movement. So welcome, Maharaj. I will hand it over to you. Uh, and uh, we will he hear the nectar from you now. Hare Krishna. Hare well. Thank you very much. My obeisances to all the devotees. Vanchakalpa to Rupas Cha, Kripa Sindhu, Beheva Cha. Dita Nam Pavane Bhyo, Vaishnave Bhyo, Namaha Namaha. Chaitanya Charitamrita, Adi Lila, Chapter 2, Verse 43. Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda. Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jai, Gaur Bhakta Vindam, Tritya Karana Suna, Sriya Bhagavan, Ananta Brahmanda Bahu, Vaikunta Di Daman. O my Lord, O Supreme Personality of Godhead, kindly hear my third reason. There are countless universes and fathomless transcendental vaikuntas. Next verse. <laughs> Itte yata jiva tara trai kalika karma tata deha shakshi tumi jana sabha marma both in this material world and in the transcendental world, you see all the deeds of all the living beings in the past, present, and future. Since you are the witness of all such deeds, you know the essence of everything. 45. Tomara darshane sarva jagate rastiti tumina dekile. All the worlds exist because you oversee them. None can live, move, or have their being without your supervision. Text 46. Narera anyana yate kara darsana darasana. Kaha teho hoi to me, Mula Narayana. You oversee the wanderings of all living beings. For this reason also, you are the primeval Lord Narayan. Purport. See Krishna in his Paramatma feature lives in the hearts of all living beings in both the transcendental and mundane creation. As the Paramatma, he witnesses all actions the living beings performs in all phases of time, namely past, present, and future. See, Krishna knows what the living beings have done for hundreds and thousands of past births, and he sees what they are doing now. Therefore, he knows the results of their present actions that will fructify in the future. As stated in the Bhagavad Gita, the entire cosmic situation is created as soon as he glances over the material energy. Nothing can exist without his superintendence, since he is even the abode where the collective living beings rest. He is the original Narayan. Om Gyan Timiram Dasya Gyanajana Salatana. Chaksu Unmilitam Yena. Thus, my Sri go the way of the heart. Sri Chaitanya Mano Vistam Stapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadam Mayam Dadati Swam Padam Pikam. 
Ma Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Shri Bhakti Bhakti Vedanta Swamini Tinamine Namaste Saraswati Deve Gauravani Pachavine Nirvisesa Sunyavari Pasyatya De Sutarine Vanchakalpa Kuru Vishya Vipa Sindhu Vajya Patitanam Pavane Vyo Vaishnavibhyo namaha namaha Jaya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadarhar Sri Vasudhi Gaur Bhakta Vindu Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare now This verse and purport raises a lot of questions um, of course, one of the questions, we'll deal with these questions. First, we're hearing about the Paramatma feature or the super soul feature of the Lord. Vadanti tad tad bad vidyam sad gyanam agnayam brahmeti paramatmeti bhagavaneti sabjate. This verse is from the Srimad Bhagavatam, first canto, second chapter, where it is described that the absolute truth has three aspects of itself. Although it's one, it is divided into three in terms of its relationship with the process of realization. Some people can realize God through the Brahman. That means the yogis, not, not the yogis, I'm sorry, the jnanis. The jnanis through drilling the respiration, performing the pranayama, and doing various meditations, austerities, uh, they gain a realization that everything is the energy of the Lord and is all pervading. They are situated in that energy and they are also non different from that same energy. This is the Brahman feature of the Lord. It's the all pervading feature as compared to the sunshine, where the sunshine is the emanation from the sun. <laughs> And the sunshine is everywhere, but the sun is localized. And the sunshine has very particles of its own energy. So these can be compared to the living entities who exist everywhere in creation. And in beyond creation also. And this, uh, this particular realization brings one to the point of detachment from all material activities, meditation on the Supreme impersonal aspect of the Lord. Uh, more developed in that is here, what we hear is the Paramatma feature of the Lord, which is the localized feature, which means he sits in the hearts of all living beings, directing the wanderings of all living entities. He's called Super Soul. He's also known as Antriyami, the external manifestation of the Lord in the form of the spiritual master. The Paramatma, I mean, the spiritual master is a manifestation of the Paramatma feature for the living entities to learn from the Paramatma who is dictating in the hearts of the living entities how to live life according to transcendental and philosophical principles of coming to the point of self-realization. So the, super, the, the spiritual master is the representative of Paramatma, but he appears externally where the Paramatma is within. This Paramatma feature is realized by the yogis who perform great austerities and penances, can also manipulate the material energy, perform various, similar to the activities of the jnanis, but um, they worship the Lord in his feature as Paramatma. And uh, they come to the realization of the second feature that the Lord is situated in his personal feature in the hearts of all living entities. This is mentioned in the Bhagavad Gita. Vidya Vinaya Sampane, Brahmani Gavi Hastani, Suni Chaiva Swapake Cha Pandita Samadarshanaha. So this is illustrated in the Bhagavad Gita that a pundit or a great soul 
a self-realized yogi, can, sees within the heart of all living entities too. He sees the spirit soul, the individual soul, and he also sees the paramatma. So he knows that all living entities are equal, although they have different bodies, equal on the spiritual platform, different on the material platform. And he worships the Lord in his Paramatma feature. Now, uh, in, in this 14th chapter of the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna explains a little bit more about that. Everywhere is his eyes and ears, hands and faces. In this way, the super soul exists. Although he is manifested in the hearts of so many living entities, he's still one, yet he is undivided. It appears he's divided, but he's not divided because he manifests himself in his absolute principle of antiyami, indwelling, in a, in a way that each and every living entity can take direct, uh, direct uh, instructions from the Paramatma. And the Paramatma, as it says here, he witnesses all past, present, and future. Um, and of course, the topmost and complete realization of the absolute truth is the Bhagavan realization of Krishna in his personal form, uh, playing on his flute. He is the, he is the uh, source of all, both Paramatma and Brahman come from Krishna. Krishna is the absolute principle of existence. And he is Adi Purush, the original Supreme Personality of Godhead. Devotees worship the Lord in that feature and develop a love for the Lord. The Lam feature gives you a, the Lam feature gives you uh, freedom from material suffering. The Paramatma feature gives you realization of God situated everywhere. Somebody's uh, somebody's uh, Swaha uh, Sukavaha, close your close your uh, your microphone. And um, the devotees develop love for the Supreme Personality of Godhead by worshiping in his feature as Krishna, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. And they develop attraction for Krishna in his form as Krishna and the pastimes that he performs. Now here, back to the Paramatma feature, which is being illustrated in this particular verse, he knows past, present and future. So if he knows everything, both past, present and future, what is the question of my independence? He knows exactly what's going to happen to me in the future. And therefore, where is my independence? If everything is already known, it seems like everything is destined already. And that, that question, has been presented to Srila Prabhupada a few, few different times. Uh, you can keep the verse up if you want for a little while. Uh, and that question has been presented a few different times. If God knows everything I'm going to do in the future, then, you know, where's my independence? And that's true. He knows exactly what's going to happen to you at all times, at all places, in all situations. He knows exactly everything at all times. He's all knowing. But the same time he tells you through the spiritual master, through the, through the, through the shastras, and through various other means to live a life of devotion. So you can change your destiny by following the principles given by Krishna through Guru and through the uh, Shastras. In other words, although he doesn't interfere with our independence, yet he knows what we're going to do. But he helps us to do the right thing. He's telling you, hey, 
you're headed for hell. So here, chant Hare Krishna, offer your food, go to the temple and worship me in my deity form, do all these things and you'll avoid being in hell. If you don't listen to me, Krishna is speaking as Paramatma, he's speaking as Guru, he's speaking as Shastra, he's speaking through the material energy. He's there always with us, trying to direct us back to him in loving devotional service. So although he knows what we're going to do, he helps us to do the right thing. But ultimately our choice is, he gives us a chance to make it, he, to make a decision to change our life. So even though he knows what we're going to do, he knows whether we're gonna take it or not, but still he is encourages, encouraging us to do it at all times. That is his special mercy and that is his love for the living entities. So even though he knows our future, he still is encouraging us to become Krishna conscious all the time. Um, you can bring the purport up a little bit higher. It's a little low, I can't see the whole purport. Haribo. Our host, is he sleeping or is he awake? Sorry, Maharaj, let me share the screen. I think uh, she might be traveling. And just put the purport up on 46, that's all. There you go. That's well, that's it. Leave it there. <laughs> Okay, there's another interesting point in this particular uh, purport that is somewhat controversial because it's really hard to search out the answer to the controversy. Here, and it's given in the first line, Sri Krishna and his Paramatma feature lives in the heart of all living beings in both the transcendental and mundane creations. Wow. So we know he lives in the hearts and the mundane creations because he has to direct us to devotional life from within. Why does he exist in the hearts of the living beings in the spiritual world when they're already perfect? What direction do they need in the spiritual world? So some people say, well, Paramatma doesn't exist in the spiritual world because there's no need for Paramatma. Everyone is already fully spirit Krishna conscious. But it's an interesting, this particular, and it takes a little research. It took us uh, days to find the answer to this big, this enigma. How, why does he exist in the hearts of all living entities in the spiritual world? And it connects with Krishna in the Rasa dance. In the transcendental feature of Paramatma in the spiritual world, he exhibits the mood of preventing, to delivering the mood of devotion exclusive to that living entity in, his, in their relationship with him. In other words, when, the, when each of the gopis are dancing with Krishna, each gopi thinks that it's only me and Krishna. That's all, there is no one else. The exclusive relationship between Krishna and the living, the, uh, his parts and parcel, the, the pure living entities in the spiritual world are so intimately connected that through the Paramatma feature, he gives them the realization or the understanding that it's just him and them, that's all. And so in that, he enacts a particular Leela and each and every gopi is thinking that Krishna is simply with me, that's all. 
And that's the experience of the loving relationship with Krishna in the spiritual world. Uh, just like um, uh, it's also illustrated in the uh, Christian tradition also, where it says that uh, I can't remember the statement. Maybe someone can help me within the Christian tradition of simply mentioned that and that um, uh, God is uh, the living entity in that tradition thinks that God and also is only alone with him. I think there's a statement in Christianity. I'm trying to think of that statement. But it's really quite interesting that in your loving relationship with the Lord, when it becomes complete, it's only you and the Lord. And that's illustrated also in Christianity. But here, it's done through I am a jealous God. Huh? I am a jealous God. No, no. No, it's, that's not it. It's a... Uh, uh, Oh, uh, it says that uh, Christ is the only begotten Son of the Lord. Uh, he said, uh, he said that Christ is the only begotten Son of the Lord. Of course, that is a statement of ecstasy that for the living entity, it's only them in Christ. So that, that actually refers to Guru in that sense. But we know that that the Lord manifests himself in so many manifestations of Guru, and Christ is also one. I, uh, um, what is it? I and the Lord are one? Oh yeah, yeah, it's coming to the oneness aspect. Uh, one doesn't see themselves any different from the Lord in that loving ecstasy. It becomes exclusive. Uh, but the, uh, in, in my bodies interpret that in the wrong way. But the point is interesting here because in the transcendental realm, the Lord also facilitates the loving relationship with his devotees by manifesting himself as the Paramatma feature to give that, that loving relationship to that particular living entity, that they, it's just between him and the Lord. That's all, there's no one else. <laughs> Speak up. I and the Lord are one, something like that. It's interesting. It's, uh, I'll get the phrase one day, sooner or later. I can't think of the whole statement right now. But this is interesting because Paramatma plays a big feature in our life. And here, the Paramatma feature is an expansion of Narayan. As Narayan expands, he expands into Mahavishnu, and then Mahavishnu creates the, uh, the Garbhodakshai Vishnu and Shirodakshai Vishnu. Shirodakshai Vishnu is the collective super soul. Garbhodakshai Vishnu is the manifestation of the of the creative potency of the Lord, which brings about the feature of creation, and then Paramatma enters into the soul, the heart of all living entities after creation. So, from the spiritual perspective, that Paramatma feature is illustrated by Shirodakshai Vishnu, and Shirodakshai Vishnu is the gateway from all incarnations of the Lord. So it says that all incarnations of the Lord come through Shirodakshai Vishnu. Although the incarnations of the Lord are more powerful than Shirodakshai Vishnu, he is, Shirodakshai Vishnu is the gateway by which all of the incarnations appear in the material world, even Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who is Krishna himself. 
So the, this is very technical, of course, but it shows the complexity and the, the design of the spiritual and the material creations are so intricately developed that everything is connected with everything else and is in a sequence of playing out the role of both the spiritual energy and the material energies. If you study the Srimad Bhagavatam in the second and third cantos and part of the first canto, and also you study that in, uh, in some of the Puranas, you can also see that the, the complexity of the cosmic creation as it manifests itself from uh, the spiritual existence is so interesting. And then every, everything sort of fits back to the, the Lord as being the source of everything and how he manifests himself in different ways of himself for the purpose of different activities he wants to perform. And everything is created and controlled by the Lord. I guess, as it says here in the purple, nothing can exist without his superintendence. So you might say, well, he's controlling everything. Nothing can exist without his super. Everyone is under his control. And why there are so many demons in the world causing so much problems? Why doesn't he stop it? <laughs> Well, some people use that statement that God is good, but there are so many bad people in the world. Why doesn't he just correct the bad people or get rid of them? <laughs> or why doesn't he even allow bad people to be bad people? <laughs> well, that's the material energy. The material energy is put in place by Krishna himself, and it's meant for the punishment of the living entities. And people can folk perform activities in one of the three modes in ignorance passion and in goodness and when people perform activities in goodness they raise themselves up to a higher material status and become eligible to engage in devotional service when people perform activities in the mode of passion they become very greedy to enjoy the results of their activities and they're engaged in lust, lusty activities, activities to, to gain more material facilities to, to try to enjoy more types of sense gratification. And these are the demons. And now the mode of ignorance is, is exhibited by a complete destruction of oneself and others by intoxication, madness, excessive sleep, and greediness to control the material energy more and more and more. These are controlled by the yakshas and rakshasas who are like man-eating demons. So the Lord puts the material energy in place. This is described in the seventh canto of the Srimad Bhagavatam, verse number eight in the first chapter, where the Lord allows for material energy to uh, exist. Although he puts it in place, the living entities have their choice how they want to perform activities. They can elevate themselves or they can degrade themselves and they get the results accordingly. So demons and yakshas, they exist because they have disobeyed the orders of the Lord. They're trying to control and exploit the material energy for their own sense gratification and they cause harm to others. So the devotees, what do they do? They take shelter of Krishna in devotional service and become free from the effects of the demons and of the lower modes of passion and ignorance. So we also have to understand that we should learn to act in the mode of goodness. That means perform activities that are beneficial for oneself and for one's, for others, and at the same time engage in devotional service. Activities in the mode of passion, hard struggle for existence, a strong desire to accumulate more material uh, sense gratification through gaining more and more positions in the material world, more money, more fame, 
more prestige, more followers. Uh, avoiding that, and of course, devotees don't act in the mode of ignorance. Mode of ignorance is conscious, consciously uh, trying to cause trouble to others by controlling others, exploiting others, cheating others, and doing various types of horrible activities that are meant to destroy the, the world. So Krishna, he remains neutral, but he at the same time, as Paramatma, he's always encouraging the living entity to give up their material desires for name, fame, and sense gratification in the material world and to engage in devotional service. Then, then one is controlled by Krishna through the spiritual energy, otherwise one is controlled by Krishna in the material energy. So if we are playing with the material energy and still engaging in devotional service, we're still being affected by the material energy. And therefore, we are not be able to fully taste the sweetness and the, the sweet protection that the Lord is giving to his devotee at every iota of a second. <laughs> he is there with the devotee at every minute. And he's there with the demons at every minute. But they can but they have shut him out, and therefore, although he's still there, they have they cannot understand him or even accept that he exists. So here yeah, it's interesting. Paramatma is the best friend of all living entities. Krishna says, when the mind and senses are fully controlled, the super soul is, is already reached. When, one, when the super soul is reached with happiness and distress, honor and dishonor, heat and cold, all the dualities of the material energy appear to be the same. How can heat and cold, honor and dishonor, happiness and distress, victory and defeat all appear the same? Why? Because they pertain to the material body and the external energy. The soul has nothing to do with these things, although it appears to have something to do with it because it gives jurisdiction to the mind and the mind acting simply on the basis of accepting and rejecting forces the soul to enter into this duality and therefore in that duality one suffers or enjoy according to their desires and activities. Therefore we should desire only Krishna and only devotional service. That is the process, platform of peace, happiness, freedom from all suffering, and ultimately the elevation back to the spiritual world in loving devotional service to Krishna. So um, God is making a great effort <laughs> to get us back. We should acknowledge his kindness and his love and simply follow his instructions and go and engage fully in devotional service. Okay, we'll stop there. <laughs> Thank you so much, uh, Maharaj. Um, if anyone has any questions, any comments, any any realizations, please feel free to. Unmute yourself. You can now. You can go back to the regular screen. Sure, Maraj. Stop the share screen again. Yeah. Okay. And we ask devotees to turn on their cameras also. Three more. So, devotees, please unmute yourself, and you can ask your questions or share your realizations. You can also type on the chat box. I, oh, oh. <coughs> Thank you very much for this wonderful lecture. Thank you very much. I will. Question by Sri Devi. Yes, Mataji, please go ahead. Thank you. 
Dear Guru Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisance and all glories to Srila Prabhupada. Guru Maharaj, just now you said that if we are still hovering on the platform of mixed devotional service, we cannot taste the sweetness of Krishna's presence, his uh, protection, his providing for his devotee at every iota of a moment. Although, he's, although he's giving it to you, you can't experience it. Right, right. But you do get one thing. He'll give you protection, even if you're in mixed devotional service. But, the, but love doesn't come in mixed devotional service. It comes only in when we've given up all of our attempts to try to enjoy this material world, and we can begin to taste the sweetness of Krishna's presence. Mm. Mm. So how can we rid ourselves of these uh, nasty tendencies to still want to have one foot here, one foot there, and try to... Just follow the instructions of Krishna coming through the spiritual master, that's all. And if you follow it, execute those instructions seriously and associate with devotees at the same time, you'll gain a foothold in, although you're, you haven't reached pure devotional service, you have developed a consciousness of pure devotion. Hmm. Prabhupada hmm. explains there's two kinds of pure devotees, those who have pure intentions and those who are already purified. So hmm. pure intentions can, will lead to ultimate purification. So we should say, I only want Krishna. I don't want anything else. <laughs> That's mm. all. <laughs> and then, then by that, and Krishna will do everything he can to show you how he can, you can come back to him. We'll make it easy. Mm. But if you're still looking towards a material energy for support, satisfaction, or some kind of comfort, Mm. Then you're marginalizing your position in relationship to Krishna. Mm. Material energy, we have nothing to do with it. We're just simply stuck in it, that's all. Mm. We have to work with it. It's like being on a, in a stage in a play. You have to play your part. You're playing your part as a woman. You're playing your part as a man. You play your part as a husband, as a wife, as a child. But these are all parts. It's like being in a dramatic performance. But you know you're just playing your part, that's all. And you have to play that part. But behind that, you're something else. You belong to Krishna, that's all. <laughs> so it's like, a, it's like a, a, a drama. You don't lose your, your, your understanding of who you are, but still you have to play the part in, the, of this, in this world. And you can only do that the more you hear and chant the glories of the Lord. Therefore, as you gain a taste for Krishna, the part becomes more uh, less pulling on you and then you're more or less connecting yourself more in the spiritual realm. So here and chant mm. more the glories of the Lord, associate more with devotees. When material nature starts to try to tempt you, try to recognize it and take shelter of Krishna. Mm -hmm. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Just this is such a power packed class that there's so much to unpack and uh, hear again and again. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mataji, for a wonderful question. And it brought up so many nice points. And at least my mind is like really questioning me what I am doing. Uh, <laughs> That's the idea. You sh everyone should be questioning, what am I doing? <laughs> Thank you, Maharaj. And uh, we have a question from, I think, Nitya Gopal Das Prabhu from Harrisburg. Prabhuji, please go ahead. Hare Krishna, Maharaj Dandut Pranam. Uh, but I am on a uh, work computer, so I cannot, I don't have the uh, camera here, so I don't, I cannot turn on the camera. So, Maharaj, my question is in mixed devotional service, one cannot test or release the 
prema or love of the lord but when one as progresses how that test look like how devotee relishes it or like how does it like he feels well the different stages that are described by shila rupa goswami each has characteristics so when we get past the stage of an art nirvritti <clears throat> which is the fifth stage fourth stage we come to the fifth stage which is nishta nishta means fixed i'm fixed in my devotional service nothing is going to deviate me i still may have some tendencies to commit offenses or we still may still be uh what we say not attached to but attracted to the material energy but we don't act on that attraction we might see something material that we like but we say oh yes yeah it's nice but it's maya we still think it's we had we still think it's not very nice so we're not so much interested in fulfilling these things we're fixed in devotional service but we haven't reached the stage of perfection then as nishta which is the fifth stage we come to the sixth stage which is ruchi now ruchi is prasannatman associati nakankshati sama sarveshu bhuteshu mad bhakti lavate param that stage is where is that one is tasting the sweetness of devotional service continuously now ruchi there's there's a happiness that is being felt all the time the body is happy i <laughs> see and that happiness is continuous it may it may according to the level of development of the stage of ruchi the happiness may be more or less but there is a sense of happiness that is always there within the body the body is always happy doesn't matter what they're doing because it's devotional service they're feeling some satisfaction they're feeling happiness that happiness is is like compared to as you get closer to the fire the warmth of the fire increases as you get closer to krishna you start to gain knowledge automatically and you start to feel more and more satisfied peaceful happy and when you when you go to kirtan you become blissful you start dancing in ecstasy so all of these things are on the stage of uh uh ruchi or sweet taste yeah. and that's the uh, sixth stage and there's three more stages after that which are higher levels of happiness and realization of krishna and they, they're all symptomatic of uh, certain characteristics that develop in these different stages so so if we want to stay and we want to get be fixed in the nishta stage because if the devotees can get to nishta that means get beyond all of those anarthas and there may be some lingering anarthas therefore bhakti vinoda course says when 75% of your anarthas are destroyed you reach the stage of nishta that means 25% are still there that means you can still commit offenses and you have to be careful so although you're on the stage of being fixed you're not hankering after material happiness you're not affected by impious activities you have a you have a complete understanding of how to execute devotional service but but you can still commit offenses until we get then those offenses are gradually reduced and cleared in the higher stages of bhakti the tendency for offenses thank you thank you so much maharaj so nicely yeah, yeah as uh, i like the point as duty goes towards krishna his happiness increases as like when we go near to fire i like that point very yeah much. yeah nobody becomes happy <laughs> you will thank you so much man thank you nitya gopal prabhu and thank you maharaj and we have a hand raised by namrata mata ji please go ahead mata ji 
Krishna, who is accept my humble ways and sees all glories to Sri Prabhupada, all glories to you, Guru Maharaj. Uh, Maharaj, I wanted to ask, uh, we see many times in devotees' life, uh, as we are talking about destiny, so uh, I, I was thinking that we have seen uh, that devotees are destined, their astrological charts many times show something different. And uh, there are many, uh, you know, incidents that happens uh, which are not mentioned in their uh, astrological charts. I mean, they go uh, in a different way. So is it, uh, do we understand that Krishna is interfering uh, in their life? Is it like that? Prabhupada talks about that in the Nectar Devotion. He says, when you clap your hairs in kirtans, the lines on your hands automatically change. <laughs> in other words, you're getting free from the re reactions of your good and bad uh, results. And you're establishing yourself more on the transcendental platform. So, our destiny on the astrological level, or which is our our collective karma has influence upon us. But a devotee stays fixed in devotional service and reduces the effect. There may still be some little bit of effect. Just like, I'll give you an example of how, just like Rahu. Rahu, when he answers into your chart in a very strong way, can cause difficulties in your life. So you may get sick, you may have problems with other people. You may experience different calamities in your life. But these are all material. But a devotee knows, oh, yeah, it's just part of my karma being played out, that's all. And they stay fixed in devotional service and they tolerate some difficulties, that's all. Because material energy will give us difficulties. How much we are affected by it depends on how much we are Krishna conscious. That's it. The more you're Krishna conscious, the less you're affected by it. But Prabhupada said, as long as you're in the material world, there will be disturbances. You can expect that. Some of it comes by our natural astrological karmic uh, manifest, it manifests a certain way, and other times it just comes because we create, we, we, we act in a wrong way, and we get a little bit of a reaction for that also. But don't worry about these things, they'll happen. Mm -hmm. So when, that, when you see things are getting worse on, on the material level, you can just, Prabhupada said, just sit down, chant Hare Krishna, that's all. <laughs> Okay, Guru Maharaj. <laughs> <laughs> That's the uh, uh, bottom line. <laughs> that is the bottom line, top line, the lines on both sides too. <laughs> yes, thank you, thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Mataji, again for a wonderful question that brings up again amazing answers from Maharaj. And uh, now we have uh, His Grace Prakshad Das Prabhu. Uh, Prabhuji, please go ahead. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Please accept my humble obeisances. All glories to Shiva Prabhupada. Um, I want to pull the attention to the first statement, the first sentence in the purport, the last, yeah. for the one that has a purport, that which you mentioned, uh, Shiva Prabhupada mentioned that the Lord exists, Paramatma, in the heart, um, in the material energy, as well as in the spiritual world. And I know we've had discussions about this. Uh, some of your God brothers who actually uh, priests have brought this. We had a long, extensive um, discussion on it. And so very, I'm very happy that we brought the, uh, the question up and did, did talk about the research and the uh, relationship. So I want to be clear in my mind. Uh, so I'll, I'll paint a picture and you tell me whether I'm thinking correctly about this. So in the material energy, we have a material body, we have a subtle body, 
the soul is there in the heart area along with the super soul. That part is made clear. In the spiritual world, what my understanding was, was that the, of course, the physical body is not there, the subtle body is not there, the soul expands. And so the living entities in the spiritual world are expanded souls, and then, and then in the heart of this expanded, the soul, the Paramatma is there. Is that a correct picture? Yeah, well, the expansion means you, you attain your, your, you know, your, your spiritual body. Mm. But the spiritual body also has a mind, it has, uh, has a heart, it has form. It's like Krishna's body has form. Mm. So Krishna is in within and without everything. So he's also within the, the hearts of the living entities in their spiritual world, in their spiritual body also. Okay. But it's just for Leela. It's not for direction. That's all. That's just to enhance Leela. That's all. Mm. Okay. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Parishad Prabhu, and thank you, Maharaj. Anyone else would like to ask any question or share any realization from today's class? Okay, seems like, Maharaj, there is no more questions. Um, yeah, I asked you, Maharaj, what would you like to do? We probably have five more minutes before nine o'clock here. Okay, we, um, well, sometimes I'm always asked to chant around with the devotees, so we can, maybe we can conclude with one round of japa. Wonderful. Sure, Maharaj, please. We can do that. Uh, just before we do that, um, Pariksha Prabhu, is, is uh, Anasuya available? Not right now. We are in a situation where we're short of Vico. And so she's got a, uh, and the two to Brinda and Mishaka are both working. So it's what, come what? to a point where she's, had, she's got to drop them off uh, at work. And this is what's interfering with the time. What would be a good time for me to call her? I need to speak with her. Um. Anytime when she comes back, which is like 10 hour time, um, an hour from now, an hour from now, easily. That would be 10 year time. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll, I want to give her a call. Okay. I'll let her know. Yeah. Okay. So we'll begin with Japa. Yes, brother. Thank you. I actually have 15 rounds done, so this is, I'm looking forward to this last one here. <laughs> so, <laughs> I get to do my last round with all of you. That's, uh, that means it'll be my best round. <laughs> okay. Probably most of us might be starting the first round, so that will be our best round, Maharaj. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't sleep. <laughs> Get up early. Jai Sri Krishna, Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita, Gadadara, Sivasiti, Gaur Bhattarunda, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna. <coughs> Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. 
Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Krishna Hare Krishna. Hare Rama, 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 Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Hare Hare. 
Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Hari, Hari Hari, Hari Hari, Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Ram, Hari Ram, Krishna, 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 Hari Hari, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna. Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram Ram Hari Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Ram 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna Hari 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 Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, Ram Hari Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Hari. 
Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari 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 Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Hari Rama, Rama, Hari Hari. Jai Sri Krishna, Chaitanya, Haruni Pyananda, Sri Advaita, Kedadara, Sivasani, Gaur, Bhakta Vindam. Sri Prabhupada Ki Jai. He's on an Chandra Mali Swami Maharaj. Jai. So thank you to all the devotees for being here today for this class and uh, we wish you the best in your execution of devotional service and hope to see you again very soon. Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you so much. Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Wonderful. Wonderful. Jai. 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 Say that's that a, that's a, it's a big eye opener spiritually in this lecture. I'll listen to it a number of times. <laughs> Definitely. So, thank you very uh, much. Well, we're, yeah, maybe I should go back over it too and see to see, see the mistakes I made. <laughs> I doubt that there are any. <laughs> it was nectar. Thank you. We'll see you soon. We're in the United States, so we'll be drifting in different places. So, Hare Krishna. Wonderful. Hare Krishna. Hare Hare. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Renuka. Mother Renuka. Uh, I'm coming to India. Hi. I'm coming to India in September. So I'll be there around the 19th of September. Yes, yes, thank you. We'll see you then. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you very much for the news. I'm totally thrilled. Thank you, you made my day. Still a long way off. but <laughs> Still, you know, any date helps. You know, just to have a date is like, you know, you have it in your mind that, okay, so looking forward to 19th September. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Maharaj, any idea when you will be in Harrisburg area? Harrisburg, I have a discussion to come up with uh, the CEO of Harrisburg. Her name is Anasuya. And, uh, <laughs> so I have to confirm with her. And then once she gives the green light, and then uh, I'll be buying some tickets. <laughs> we are looking forward for your association, Maharaj. Yeah. And we'll, we'll be seeing dear Krishna also. Hari Absolutely, Maharaj. I'm out of words just waiting for you. Hare Krishna, Maharaj. Please let us know the schedule of India. Yeah. It starts on the 19th of September and goes to to March, so I'll be there for six months in India. Oh my God! That's the plan. That's I mean, that's the plan. But Krishna may change my plan, so I can't get too too excited about a, a tentative plan. So anyway, this is the plan. Let's see what happens. Man, pro man, pro man proposes, God disposes. Thank you, Maharaj. That is wonderful news. Mayapur Dam Kijai. <laughs> Looking forward to meeting Maharaj. Hare Krishna. We got two people from Mayapur, one from Delhi and one from Bombay online today. <laughs> Jay. Hare Krishna. All glory Hare Krishna. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.